What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Pinkham Do here today with another special day as we're continuing the Pokemon Black. Randomizing those logs. And it's definitely not Pokemon Black. I always call this game Pokemon Black. It's Pokemon White 2. That's okay. Let's get into this. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's do a quick team recap real quick. As, um, I have actually no idea where we're going. And what we're doing. Actually, yes, I do. We're going to take on the first gym. And probably lose again, but that's okay. Um, So we got Beagers the God of War. With Camouflage, Thrash, Heal, Order, and Confusion. Weird moveset, but I'll take it. Then we got our starter, Metamech the Celebi, with Magic Room, Gla Grass Pledge, Energy Ball, and Solar Beam. And we got Chill the Jirachi, the Steel Psychic type with Magnet Bomb, Metal Burst, Steel Wing, and Psycho Shift. And I don't know. Honestly, I feel like our team is very... It's very in a, it's in a weird state, not gonna lie. I think that... Oh, wait, what? The season changed. <gasps> That's right, it's February 1st. Breaking the fourth wall. I'm recording on February 1st, so it's gonna change because it changes every month. <gasps> oh my. Bro, it's summer now. I don't know what. I know it's winter in real life. I'm not dumb. Um, That's. What changes in the summer? Um, I know he can get more Castelia cones when he get there. I don't know any other big changes, though. But it looks very, very nice. The area kind of looks like it's ready. Oh, I forgot we had to fight Aaron. Oh, no. This might be bad. Okay. Uh, Aaron, just don't have anything too terrible, and we'll be fine. Samurott. Oh, God. Um... So, you led straight up with your starter, which is, I guess, fine for the moment. We don't have good moves on this thing, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap into Metamech, though. Metamech's the best option, best case scenario at the current moment. And then we can just Energy Ball it to death, theoretically. Not 100% sure. So, we will figure that out as soon as we can. I am going to turn down this game audio, though, because it is bothering my ears. And I hope you guys can still hear it, but it might be faint. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I wish I could just, like boost the audio without it having to go into my ears because if i could figure that out oh i hit the i hit the wrong move that's okay that's okay we'll take five damage of this wow that's a weird animation um but yeah if i could figure out how to do that oh my gosh because my it's already set up to zero decibels of difference like shutting off the zero decibels so it's unfortunate because I want to make this better and I want to turn up the gain and stuff like that. But I think I would need a splitter to go from my headphones to somewhere. And I just, I can't do that. Um, 249 for both. Oh, Aaron still only had the one. Po oh, I thought you had two. I don't know. I must be um, just thinking wrong. Oh, thanks for the town map. I really appreciate it, my dude. The town map is the best map. Definitely. 100%. Um... And a potion. We def we definitely like potions. They're they're helpful. Um, our team is level twelve though, so I feel like I don't know. I like the way our team is structured. I just feel like a bug type would basically run right through it. I think that's what I'm most scared about is the fact that my team could easily be run through. And when we have to go against Sharon in this episode, there's ob obviously some cause for concern. So, I'm hoping no bug types or dark types. Crawdon doesn't help in this scenario either. Um, there's a lot that can wreck us. And that's what I'm, I think, most concerned about. Is that there is a lot that can just say, I'm here, by the way. I'm going to kill you now. And dark is one of those types. Night Slash. Oh, that's scared. That could, that could be Crit City. No, okay. Uh, so I should be fine then. I should be fine to solar beam or energy ball. I would not solar beam. No way in the world would I solar beam. Okay. Um, so that's dead. Uh, what's next? Caracosta. Oh, perfect. Okay. See, so I see, I like our team, like what we've built, but I just don't, what I just, like I'm saying, I don't like the fact that we are weak to a common, like a couple common types because 
we need something to balance that out like fire type maybe that fire type would be great um honestly uh fighting type would be okay too but fire would be better i think but we can't get an encounter until after the gym so we're kind of in a weird stuck point poison type would be fine because that's no no it wouldn't poison type would actually be pretty bad for us um pp max i that's forty nine hundred dollars i think i'd rather use that for money i hate saying that but it's true I'd rather use it for money purposes rather than using it to max out PP on a certain move. Because honestly, the only move I would use it on is Energy Bulb. And I'm being, like, the best thing I can do is be honest. And the only thing I can see myself using it on is, in fact, Energy Ball. So, like, I feel like there's no reason to use it if I can't. Like, $49 early game is way more worth it. Um, I don't really care. I'm gonna fight this trainer for experience. Because I need that more. Um, I think it actually forces you there anyway. I, snubbled. Well, so much for actually getting experience. I always think that in the video recordings, it looks like I'm using this as my mic. But yet, you can clearly see the mic in the background. That it's an actual mic mic. But my brain just goes, oh no, you guys are gonna think that I'm using a cheapo mic. But literally, you guys have seen that a hundred times. So, like, I don't know. I just, uh, Johnny XC is broken. Shoot. Oh, no. Uh, no. Okay. So, my thought process, right? Because I swear, like, a lots of YouTubers, like Frank, um, let's see, Vinny does it too. Um, they all have their, oh, I thought I lost Pokemon for a second, even though they all have their mic, like, right here so you can see it, but I don't like having it in the shot. Like, personally, it just, I, I don't like having it in the shot. I like having it down here because, one, it's out of sight, out of mind. Oh, my God, I cannot believe you just missed that. I mean, I know I'm a Celebi and I would have taken the hit, but... Oh, that would have been scary. I will adjust my camera, though, because my camera... I'm ducking down a lot today. So, like, until that negative 2 is probably going to be... Oh, wait. If I'm ducking down, I want it further down. So, until the negative 4 is going to be better. Um, sorry. I know that was a little unprofessional, but if I'm ducking down and doing this, then you can actually see my facial expressions and everything still. Um, so... But I just don't like having... Like I said, I like it having being out of sight, out of mind. So, like, I don't care that you can see it in the corner there. But, like, you know. It's just, it's a personal preference. But I see a lot of YouTubers having it, their mic in their, like, camera. And I just, blah, Like, I don't want it covering my face. I don't want it. Because, like, I could be making some great facial expressions for entertainment purposes. And, like, you guys won't see it if my mic's covering my face. Like, I mean, you also won't see it if my light's on, which is not right now. But. I mean, I guess you can still see it. It's not that. Oh, uh, where am I going? Brain work, goody work. My brain just does not want to work today, but that's okay. Um, oh, Pidgey was on this route. I'm so glad I got Jirachi over Pidgey any day. Any day of the week, I would choose Pidgey or Jirachi over Pidgey. Um, even if it would actually severely help. In our case, because in our case, it actually would have been a great addition to the team. But, oh, it's Arceus Plate already. Okay, we'll take that. We will take an Arceus Plate already. Although, speaking of Pidgeys, that would have been very good on Pidgey. <laughs> oh, we're at Pardos. Okay, that I did know was there because Aaron and I were, I was training in this route. Aaron specifically talked to me about how he actually likes this Pokemon a lot. And I can see that. Like, this Pokemon is a nice Pokemon. It looks good. And I can 100% agree. Rampardos is probably one of my favorite fossils. And I'm saying one of my favorite because if I were to objectively look at all the fossils, I actually don't know what my favorite fossil would be. Rampardos is nice. And I like it a lot. But I'd probably go with Cordillie because I like the way Cordillie just feels as a Pokemon. Um... I know that's like a very odd choice, but 
like I'm just going with what I believe and I believe Cradelli is a nice Pokemon it has that grass typing it's got storm drain it's a bit and mind you I am very competitively biased I have a bias for competitive battling and I none not many of the fossil Pokemon are great competitively Karagos is pretty good if you can get the white herb shell smash strategy off but that is pretty difficult in general to get on any Pokemon. I mean, hashtag having Tank Boyster's hype, you know? Um, but still, like, it's just, eh. Like, I don't, I don't have an explanation for it other than a lot of it's, eh. But now I don't know many good fossil. Um, and I'm just gotta be honest taros or toros i'm scared of earthquake because it gets it i'm gonna stay in i feel like there's a why not to stay in at this point we want to get beagers oh good i'm glad i stayed in actually because i didn't i forgot about intimidate entirely um my i forgot that i didn't this is a very it okay it's the hardest thing when i'm used to extreme randomizers and i made a chill randomizer you know like this is really just a chill randomizer that I get to hang out and talk to you. And I really, I wanted to do a chill randomizer so I could work on my commentary. Because anytime I want to improve or do something, like, okay, I can be pretty chill in the, game's con in the context of the game because there's not much going on. Whereas, Yellow Shard's pretty nasty. Um, whereas, if I'm doing a complicated randomizer, I can't. I have to focus on the game a lot, and I really can't work on my commentary. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm excited for this. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. See, this is what you get for focusing on your commentary, John. Um, but honestly, like I, it's, to me, better for me to do that in this use case. So... That's what I'm doing, and I'm just having a great time with you guys, and I am getting good feedback from you guys. That's important to me, too. Like, what you guys like. Like, I actually am really liking the zoomed-in camera a lot. Like, having it kind of zoomed in, it doesn't... It's There's no distraction. The only thing that I would do is if I to upgrade a setup, because I think I have my setups pretty nice. The only thing I would do, right, is I would come closer to the camera... When I can, obviously. Because right now, I don't have any of that stuff. I would rather work on the way I record this, the way I do stuff. You know? I don't know. We're having a very heart-to-heart -heart conversation today. Um, but honestly, like, I'd rather work on the logistics rather than, oh, let me spend crazy money on a bunch of stuff. Like, <laughs> honestly. Like, I want to make those connections with you guys because you guys are super important to me. So... I mean, the seven-year anniversary of my channel is coming up. Literally, by the time this episode drops, it'll be, like, two weeks away that I will have been on YouTube for seven years. And I know I repeated myself, Jonas. I got that. But still, that's, like, a big milestone to me. And we're getting super close to 600 and everything else. And, you know, hit that like, comment to me, tell me how I'm doing. What you guys think of my commentary style and what I can improve on. Um, one of the things that I want to improve on is not repeating myself as much as I do. Um, but, like, obviously there is instances in which repeating myself is a good thing, right? Like, if something crazy happens and my brain has to wrap myself around it. Because there are some instances where my brain, I have to wrap my brain around what's going on. Hence, like, the, the Kira, like... From episode two, like, I had to wrap myself around the fact that this Kieran was using Outrage. So I had to tell myself. I had to let myself know that. Because I do better verbalizing things. Uh, I, if I think about things internally, I can if I'm alone. Which I do. Um, why is that just a, just a basic Tapig? That's kind of hilarious to me. That it literally is a Tapig. And everything is randomized. But anyway, I do better verbalizing things for memory i can internalize things and look at things from an inner to outer perspective i was doing that with culpa in his live stream yesterday um and i'm trying to 
internalize how he can beat the game with just Scovet. And I just, I'm trying to figure that out, right? That's like my number one thing that I'm trying to figure out at the current moment. And I, I will probably ask Aaron to help me test this so that I can hop into a call or go with him and figure this out. Because honestly, what he's, where he's at, it interests me. I know it's Sword and Shield, and I know I'm not supposed to know what's going on in Sword and Shield. But I literally, this is the final battle. It's not like it's not like everybody's already hyped this up enough. I already know what the final battle's like. And I've known that since Direct, when it's like, oh, this is your champion. So, like, Direct literally told me who the champion was. I, it's not a spoiler to me whatsoever. I don't know anything else. So, like, I didn't even know what Skullback gets. Like... Yeah, like, I know Greedent gets Earthquake, to my knowledge, because I feel like I've been wrecked by that in doubles before. Um, I probably have, and it might not even be with Greedent. Oh, no, it's a bug type. It's a Cascoon, John. Shut up. It's a Cascoon. It is literally a Cascoon. Again, me freaking out about nothing, because I have Beegers, and I should know that already. Um, anyway, back to the point. I thought I had been wrecked by Greedent before. Like a Trick Room Greedent set in doubles. And yes, I do doubles. It doesn't change anything. Like, I love doubles more than I do singles because I can create random strats at, that have absolutely no meaning, but they're still good. Like, I mean, I'll never forget the Sigilyph strat that I had in Gen 7. That doesn't work very much in Gen 8 because I don't even think the moves that I was using are even in the game. Like, I don't even think Psych Up is in the game anymore, which, honestly, is kind of unfortunate because I loved that move in doubles. It was, like, my favorite doubles move because you could literally do anything you wanted to. You could have a stally shuckle. I don't play stall typically, but you could... I'm just giving you an example. You could use a stally shuckle with acupressure, have it not die, and then uh, be completely fine. Because Acupressure doubles the stats. You could literally skill swap simple onto this mon. Very easily with Acupressure. That makes any stat go up by four stages. And Shuckle's already a beefy bulky boy. So it'll take hits for you. Imagine if you're plus four in a stat. And then it won't cap it up. It'll give you plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. Like... Yes, I know that sounds broken, but then you can use a Psych Up Pokemon that can legitimately run through a team. And even if you decide you want a Toxic Stall said Mon, it's still like at least four turns before you do anything. That's plus 24 stat changes. If you use a Psychic type, if you use a Psychic type with stored power, with 24 stat changes, that makes the attack 260 base power and stab. Like, that gets a ridiculous, for sure. Imagine if you had a weakness policy on that, too. That's another plus four stat changes. Like, boom. I've had that stuff happen before. I've used that strategy. It is amazing, and I love it. But, again, with Psychic not being in the game anymore... It's just unfortunate, but I don't know. I think it's cool. I hope you guys think it's cool, too. Like, and I would love to use those kind of strategies again, but I can't because um, it's Gen 8 now. But anyway, I'm just excited. I love the fact we're doing a casual playthrough. Well, I shouldn't say casual playthrough because it's still an Uslog. But to me, it's, a, it's weird because to me, like I said before, to me, this is a casual playthrough. But it's not. <laughs> and I know it. But I'm so used to the ridiculousness of Extreme Randomizers that I've kind of been trying to think of the right word to use. Not dulled. I've been... Brain's not working. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys can figure out the word that I'm trying to say, that would be fantastic. Because I have a feeling I know what word it is. But... My brain just can't process it at the moment. I'm going to buy myself 10 potions because I am, I don't trust. 
I big I don't I big don't trust Sharon right now. He's level fifteen, and I I know he's level fifteen. But I think we have a better team than we did last time going in there. Actually, I shouldn't even say I think. I know we have a better team going in there this time. Comparative to last time. So, I am literally not as worried. And the only reason we lost was because of an outraged hero. Like, honestly, we would have beat him if he didn't have that. So, and I know, Patrick. I'm like... I'm like targeting everybody today, but Patrick Patrick would have been like, wow, the thing that makes it hard is what killed you. Surprise! And I'm like, yeah, true. <laughs> but no, honestly, I'm not even mad. Like, we got to build a team. We got to do what we wanted to do. And now we're going to take on the first gym and then set ourselves prime for the next episode. Like, pretty perfect in my opinion. As we're going against a Sincino. Sincino. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> ah, my brain is thinking of so many references that he do doesn't know it's from. It's like, oh, wow. Um, Was that charm? It was. Okay. For a second, I thought it was a track. And I was like, of course. But then I realized it wouldn't work. Because Pokemon still doesn't believe in those communities. Um... That would also make a track really broken, though, too. So I'm kind of glad uh, that it's not like that. Because a track would be very, very broken. Uh, Rhyperior. Yes! Uh, we love Rhyperior. We really, truly love Rhyperior. Not gonna lie. We truly love Rhyperior. Who legitimately is gonna get wrecked by this energy ball. Um, I'm glad we sold our PP Max, because that was $4,900. If we win the gym, we get great balls. We get access to a lot of stuff for next episode. So, as Metamech is now level 15, 16 almost. So, yeah, we are fine and dandy to take on this gym. I am not worried at all. Can you defeat the girl that's ahead of me? Yes, we can. It's pretty obvious that we can. Um, you have a Vanillish. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Um, Beers, did you get hit? No, you didn't even get hit. I'm gonna just confusion then. I would have loved to switch into Jirachi, but honestly, I feel like there's no use switching into Jirachi. Jirachi is literally a level 12 big mon. It can handle its own if it needs to. What's the next mon? Murkrow. Okay, well, now we switch into Jirachi because Murkrow, um, completely annihilates Beakers and Celebi. So, it, but it won't annihilate Jirachi. As I'm definitely going to Steel Wing, even though it's 90% accurate. Um, it is more powerful. It's like, I think it's 65. And I have like a 40% chance of getting a defense raise. Dark Pulse. Of course you have Dark Pulse. Yeah, that would have destroyed the other two. Um, I should have used Magnet Bomb. I wasn't paying attention, but it's okay. It all worked out in the end. Um, but yeah, so we are out here. We're doing what we need to do to win this. And I'm just, I'm very happy. Um, I'm happy with everything that's been going on. Obviously, there's been a lot. Um, and on Monday, which you'll probably see this on Sunday. Um, but on Monday is the finale. Or I shouldn't say is the finale because I don't know. I don't know if it's the finale. I don't know if we're going to win the Super Bowl. But it's my Madden series finale. And I'm like... And then next week is basically an entire week of premieres. If all goes well. Like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday might all be premieres. Like, we had three endings last week. And then this week might be premiere week. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers that it's premiere week next week. I, there's just some things that I gotta hope for. But I'm not gonna spoil anything. Because I don't know. Oh, we're starting with a Blaziken now, are we? I love that. That's fantastic. Honestly, it's fine. We have a Confusion. It's a Fighting type now, which is actually beneficial for us. Revenge, that's going to do absolutely nothing. Thank you, Beegers, for being a Psychic type. You're the best. Oh, wow, that did way more than I anticipated. That really did way more than I was anticipating. I'm glad this thing doesn't have a Speed Boost, because then it would be broken as all heck. Uh... Because it could have had its hit ability. Beagers level 15 now. Whirlipede is 
bug poison. Oh boy. I'm gonna stay in. It's level 15. I can confusion and Whirl he does not have the best of defenses nor attack really. Oh wow, it has hurricane. It, so it doesn't it might not even have a bug type move right now. Yeah, we're good. I don't care that you used a potion. Honestly, that added, that actually gets worked out for us, not against us. Let's go. We got one. Okay. We good. Our family members survived. Beagers level 16. We'll take that gladly. And we defeated Poet Scarlet. And on that note, we're going to get a TM. We're going to go to the Pokemon Center. And end the episode. We did what we needed to do, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. We really did. Acid spray. That's honestly not bad. I am totally down with acid spray. And here's why. Because acid spray is a poison type move that lowers the special defense to, sp to stages. And with all of our special attackers, that's good. And this girl just gave us what would be return, but it's pin missile. We just got the X transceiver. Yay. I didn't realize there was story behind here, to be honest. I'm not joking when I said I didn't think that there was. But I guess there is. And surprise. Sharon looks so much different in this game in comparison to the first one. I, like, he grew up. Whereas Bianca didn't. It's really funny to think about. But, like, Bianca didn't grow up, like, at all. But... Like, she may, she likes, like, maybe not too much older. But Sharon, oh my god, he looks way different. He looks like he's, like, 18 or 19 now. Whereas Bianca still looks like she's, like, 17. Which, I know you're a little older in black and white. So it makes sense. They're telling us to go to back to flow a sassy town, which we will do in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate you guys all being here. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. We're trying to get to 600 subscribers before my seven-year anniversary. Peace!